folks, we happen to be in Oregon. I'm Dr. Paul. You knew that. Most of you did anyway. We still have to wear masks in Oregon, but we have patients who don't want to wear masks and we are not the enforcers. So I just throw that out there for whatever it's worth. We post it on our office. We offer masks. We encourage, but we are not the enforcers. I hope you enjoy this one. It's a really cute guy. And you can see the cuteness when there's no mask. It's amazing. There you are. Is that your hat? Check out that hat. Is that yours? Yeah. It is? Do you actually wear it? Yeah. How does it how does it go on your head? Like that? Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's great. You're really handsome. <laughs> and now, which way are you supposed to put your hat on the ground? That way? How come? Because. Because what? So your luck doesn't run out. So your luck doesn't run out? Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. You're going to be really lucky, aren't you? Yeah. Ooh. Who's this handsome guy? Who's that? That's me. <laughs> Is that you? Oh my gosh. You're here to see me because you're sick? Yeah. You are? Yeah. What's wrong? I'm sick. You I'm are? Sick. Okay. Should I ask mom for some details? What? No. No. <laughs> I'm sick. I got the fever. You got God, the fever? Like, and God said, stop there, you baby. Like, let's go. Oh my God. That's amazing. You don't have a fever. You just have a bad cough. A bad cough. He did have a fever like two weeks ago. Uh -huh. And then he kind of had a cough and I thought it was just drainage. And okay. then it's progress or continued, I should say. Um, and it was mostly at night, but now it's kind of during the day. And then right. he has coughed to throwing up t like twice, but like wow. one, like cough, two cough, weeks cough, ago, and then, and then like didn't happen again until this week. I'm like, okay. You remember what this is called? Yeah. What's it called? Hello. <laughs> is it a stethoscope? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you have dinosaurs on your shirt. Oh yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. those are cool. Why did he put it on back here? So I can hear you breathing. I hear your lungs back there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So this is just a flashlight. See that? It's a little pretty light. Let's see if you have any luck in your hat. It looks pretty lucky to me. <laughs> I gotta look in your ears. This won't hurt, I promise. Don't be scared. Good job. Say ah. Uh, stick your tongue out like this. There you go. Nice job. Has he had a sore throat at all? He Is he eating okay? Eating good, drinking good. All right. Is Are you ticklish? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. When I tickle him, you he's like laughing. <laughs> you sure that doesn't hurt? No, you're smiling. Yeah. Okay. He's got, he's got some lymph nodes in his anterior cervical chain, which you'll see that with colds. The sternocleidomastoid muscle here differentiates anterior from posterior, and we think of lymph nodes. The ones that are anterior can be more related to throat. The posterior ones can be more viral or scalp related. So when did he last cough to the point of throwing up? Like three days ago. Yeah, that looks fine. All right, sometimes you'll see swollen, boggy, bluish, pale, nasal turbinates which kind of clues us into allergies. Yeah, I mean his energy's great. He's the literally fourth or fifth kid I've seen this morning with cough that's been kind of long-standing, coming and going, mm -hmm. related to colds, COVID in the past, but I, I doubt it's related to COVID at this moment. If he were sick looking, I would do a CBC complete blood count just to try to prove this is viral or bacterial. Mm -hmm. The ones I've done today have all been viral, which is what I suspect he has as a virus. Okay. Um, when you have this story of cough, 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 gag, choke, vomit, if that persists and doesn't go away in the next week or two, mm -hmm. I would test him for whooping cough, even though it's extremely rare. I haven't had a positive whooping cough in years. Okay. Um, I went to the kids aquarium. Did you? Yeah, I did. Oh my goodness. I saw a lot of a a lot sea animals. Of sea there. animals there in the yeah. kids aquarium? Yeah. Was that in Newport? Yeah, that was in Newport. That's a really nice aquarium. I've nice. been there a few times. I've been there. This few guy times. behind the camera, he's even been there when he was a kid. I got in there when she was kid. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so, are you comfortable just watching for now? Yeah, yeah. I mean, if there's anything I can 
I mean, there's anything I can do to kind of like ease it, but it's, I think it's okay. Yeah, I mean, kids, the cough cold meds really are kind of discouraged. Sure. They don't do much. Um, you know, in general, you know, still trying to eat healthy, getting your rest, getting your sleep. Uh, okay. And most people I've tested, and I test most people in my practice in general for vitamin D yeah. are low. Okay. And we know that having an optimal vitamin D status helps your immune system. So okay. if he's not taking regular vitamin D, I would get on that. Sure. Uh, C is also good for when you're sick. Okay. Yeah, we can do C yeah. and D. Do those. Yeah, yeah. sound good. Eat your vegetables. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> And then obviously come back if it gets worse. Right there are all your fans. What would you like to tell them? <laughs> you want to tell them about how to keep their hat in the lucky position? Yeah. Yeah. Folks, you've had it from an expert. This was news to me. We learned together. This is not lucky. This is... <gasps> lucky. Lucky. <laughs> there you have it, folks. <laughs> Share this one. This is an adorable video. Thank you so much. High five. You're going to leave me hanging? No. Good job. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. All right. All right, buddy. Say we have to look your video up. <laughs> Come on, Sean. Never too late, Shawty. Never too late to be a star. <laughs>